Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a full list of tips, tricks, features, and a complete tutorial for the S Pen, for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, or the Note 10 Plus. Now, the S Pen is a fantastic tool, and it's full of deep and rich features. And I wanna make sure that you master every aspect of your S Pen for your Note 10, and become a master of your device. So let's dive in and get started. Now I do want to let you know that the S Pen, in addition to being a writing and a sketching tool and also being able to navigate your phone with it, has three other dimensions. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about those three dimensions of the S Pen and they're all comprehensive. Now when I press, when I hover the S Pen over the screen and press the button, you're gonna see all the three dimensions right over here. So the first one is the Air Command menu. This I'm gonna be talking about at the end of the video. The other thing is the Air Actions, which is right over here. So basically this S Pen is connected to your phone via Bluetooth and it is in fact a remote control that allows you to control your smartphone with the actual S Pen from a distance. And right now it is 100% charged. When you tab on this, it even tells you what it does. So it is able to do air actions that allows you to take pictures, zoom in and more by pressing the S Pen button and waving the S Pen around. So I'll show you how to customize that and how that works in detail. So that's the second dimension, the air actions. The first dimension is the air command. And the third dimension is the settings menu right over here. When you go inside over here, you have a whole list of options that you can customize for the actual S Pen, and that's the third dimension. So let's dive in and discover everything. Now before we dive in, in detail, I do want to show you two quick tips that you're gonna absolutely love. Now first one is if you go into your Samsung Notes application, where you'll be taking notes with your S Pen, you can do something really cool that was not available before. So let me just bring up Samsung Notes right here. When you go inside, you can just create a new note right from here. You can uh, click, the uh, click the plus button. You can create a brand new note. But when I go back over here, here's a note that I just made a couple seconds ago. And I wrote this with my S Pen right over here. Now something new that's on the Note 10 is the fact that after you write something with your handwriting, you can tap on that and you can actually convert that to actual text. You even get a preview on the top over here. So that is absolutely beautiful. I can tap on all these things that I wrote with my S Pen on the screen and I can just convert them to actual text. I can tap on this one, I can do a conversion. So that's beautiful to create perhaps a shopping list that looks nice and neat. It's also very great for students in the college, okay? So that's one thing you can do, convert handwriting to text. And the other thing that I do wanna show you before I dive into the details, is if you do go to the settings over here, you can access S Pen settings from also uh, the advanced features, you tap on S Pen, and the same menu pops up that I showed you a couple seconds ago. And you can unlock your phone with the S Pen remote. So go inside here and simply enable this uh, by default, it's at don't use. So enable that and click OK and then go back out. Now let me lock my phone really quickly, okay? And what I can do is I can press this button and that's going to allow me to log into my phone uh, with the actual S Pen. That's brilliant. So those two things are our quick bonus tips. Now let's dive in to some actual details. The first thing that I'm gonna cover with the S Pen is the menu, okay? So let's click on this button. This is the first thing I'm gonna cover right over here, the settings. That's the second thing I'm gonna cover, the second dimension, and then I'm gonna cover the air command, all right? So let's go to the settings. I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do. So we're gonna skip this because that's the air actions. We're gonna be talking about that in a minute. Now we already talked about this one. Now this is the screen off memo. So you can jot down notes even when your screen is locked. So let me lock the screen again, okay? All you do is press the button and tap on the screen and that brings up this screen off memo. You can start writing right over here without even having to log into your phone or, or start any application. So that's a screen off memo, nothing new, but it's there. Now let's log into our phone with my S Pen, press the button. All right, that's fantastic. And the next thing we have is air view. Now let's click on it. Uh, first you can enable it from here, okay? And then you can also click over here to go into the details. So basically, AirView gives you information 
uh, when you hover above certain applications. So you can go to the calendar, you can go into the photos. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's uh, pull up calendar real quick. So I have the calendar right over here. Now if I were to hover over, without even touching the screen, hover over the screen, it is gonna give me a preview without even me touching the S Pen with the actual screen. So that's fantastic. You can do this in the calendar and even in the gallery. Let me give an example with the gallery as well. So let me launch the gallery. And again, if I come over here and hover on any one of these uh, pictures, it'll give me a quick preview. Okay, so that's my phone. That's my beautiful daughter. And then I have my uh, other things right over here. So you can see all the uh, air view in action. Okay, so let's go back to the actual settings right over here. That's the air view. And again, you can also perform this in the calendar application, in the gallery, and of course, you can take a look at everything else that's available right over here. So that's air view, and then we have the pointer. Now, if you look carefully, when I bring the S Pen close to the screen, there's a pointer that follows the tip of the S Pen. I can disable that if you don't want it. I don't like it, to be honest, so I will disable it right now. But for the sake of this video, let me just keep it enabled so you guys can see it as it hovers about. A little hard to see, but it's there. There's a little dot that follows the tip of the S Pen showing you exactly where the S Pen is gonna make contact with the screen. The next thing over here is the Air Command Shortcuts. Now when you press this, you can actually customize the Air Command. Now I'll go into the details of each individual uh, item in the Air Command. So when you press this, you get the Air Command. Now this stuff here is actually customizable. Okay, so if you go to the settings, and if you go into the shortcuts, what you can do is you can remove this is the strip that uh, reflects the air command menu, so you can remove all these things if you want, okay, and only add the things that you need. So two, two options. First, you have all the S Pen features, create a note, smart select, just an example, and then you can even add applications. So I can add calculator, camera. So when I launch the air command now, it's just gonna be those four items, and I can launch the calculator right from here, okay? So I'm gonna go into details with all those things, but for now, let's go back to settings. But that's just the uh, shortcuts menu you can customize. And then you have the floating icon. If I tap it, you get a floating air command icon. You can put it anywhere on the screen, tap on it with the S Pen, and that brings up the air command as well. Uh, if you ever don't want this floating icon, you can just grab it and dump it on the top. It's gone, all right? and just disable that if you don't want it. I don't care about it. The next thing, when S Pen is removed from the uh, house at the bottom, it's housing at the bottom here, what do you want the phone to do? You can either create a note, do nothing, or open air command, all right? So if you pull the S Pen out from the bottom, you can do these three things. I prefer to do nothing, to be honest, and then perform my own actions as necessary. So that's all great. Now the next option here is a very important setting. Make sure it's enabled. Basically, if you remove the S Pen from your device, from your Note 10 and put it on the table, and you grab your Note 10 and you walk away, you will lose the S Pen, and the S Pen is not cheap. You have to spend $50 to 60 bucks to get a brand new one. So with this enabled, what's gonna happen is, if you do leave your S Pen behind and you walk away, you quickly get an alert from the Note 10 letting you guys know that you're forgetting your S Pen, go grab it so you don't lose it. And over here, it even gives you the information. It says, last detached 822, 2019 at 1125. Okay, so I have this removed for making this video and actually knows. So that's actually a nice hint of knowing when you last removed it at what time in case you do lose it, in case you don't see that uh, notification that you get. But again, make sure this is enabled so you never lose your S Pen, all right? And of course, there are other S Pens you can go and buy uh, if you want to be able to use multiple S Pens. Even the S Pens from other devices, you can enable this so I can actually use multiple S Pens uh, on my device. So let me enable this and show you the other S Pen that I have. I'm gonna use it right on this phone. So here's the other S Pen from the other Note 10. And again, it's working on here as, as well, okay? So this is a brand new option. I've never seen it before, but it's great to have. I can even use a white S Pen. So I'm gonna disable this for now and just keep using the original S Pen, all right? The other thing is uh, the feedback. Uh, do you want the S Pen, your phone, to play sounds when you do things with your, with your S Pen? Yes. So when you remove your S Pen, it creates noise. When you write on the uh, Samsung Notes application, it gives you a writing uh, noise sound. 
So that's great. And also make sure vibration is enabled. This is all for feedback. So you know that you're doing something with your Aspen. Okay. So that's all the settings we just went over. Now we're going to move over and talk about air actions. Okay. Again, when you press this button, you have 100% battery in the Bluetooth of the S Pen. It's fully charged. And this is the air actions. You go to the settings to customize the air actions. The very basic way the air actions work is what happens when you hold down the pen button. So if you tap on this one, you can open any of the S Pen features or any of the apps that you want. Okay, you can pick any app to open when you press and hold this button. Let me give you an example. Right now, I have chosen the uh, Samsung Notes. So if I press and hold, it is going to launch Samsung Notes. Okay, now if I go back over here, and if I tap on this, I can now choose the camera application if I wanted to. And then when I press this button and hold it, it is going to launch the camera. Okay, so that's that. That's the first part on the top over here. Now let's go into app actions. What happens when I use the S Pen for a specific supported app? These are all the support applications right here. If I tap on the camera, for example, a single press in the camera app takes a photo. Double press over here uh, switches the camera, okay? And then you have the air action gestures. So this is up, down, left, right. You tap the button, you go up, and that's your up gesture. You tap the button, you go down, that's the down gesture. So let me show you a little bit about that so you get an idea of what I'm talking about. So let's start with the whole process. Let's press and hold on the actual S Pen. That's gonna bring up the um, camera. If I press the button once, it simply takes a photo. You even heard the shutter sound. If I double tap the button, it switches the camera to the front facing camera. If I double tap it again, it switches it back to the other camera. Now, if I press the button like this and go up, that's also switches the camera. Uh, if I press and go down, that switches the camera again. And look at these uh, photo and video modes. I can switch between these with the app, uh, with the, with the Aspen. Press side. So I went to video. Press side. Now I went back to photo. So those are the air actions and the remote control functionality for the S Pen. Let me go back here for a second. You can do the same thing with all these apps, but one thing I want you to know, when you go inside, you can customize every single one. So when I do press, do a single press, I can do any one of these things or do nothing. Okay, it's all up to you. Double press on this in the camera app. You can do any one of these things. It's all up to you. Same with up, down, left, right gestures, clockwise circle, counterclockwise circle. So just an example, if you tap on up, you can do all these things with your S Pen, even zoom in and zoom out, all right? So you customize how you wanna do it and then you just use the S Pen to do the controls. The same methods apply to all the other apps. Gallery application, single press gives you next item. Double press gives you previous item, okay? So if I launch the gallery right now, Let's go into a photo right here. Single press goes to next, 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 okay, next. Double press goes back. Amazing, all right? So make sure that you guys come here and customize the S Pen for each specific available application, which is right here. And of course, if you go down, you do have access to general controls. You can also modify them as you can see. For camera or for media playback, if you are in a music player, you can play and pause with a single press, double press, next next track. So let me sh just quickly show you an example. So let's uh, launch the music application. So for example, I can press, it's gonna start to play, press. Okay, so that's great. Press, play, pause. Again, you want to come here and take a look at all the available options uh, for yourself right there. Oops, on the top under air actions. So that's basically everything you need to know about the air actions we covered the full menu uh, for the actual s pen uh, which is right here okay and then finally let's talk about air command now let me just x this out for a second okay so let's uh talk about the air command stuff what i do want to do is i want to tap on settings go into shortcuts remove all these unnecessary apps and all i'm going to do is i want to add in all the fine uh air command options so I can show you guys what they are all about. We don't need this one. We also don't need the pen up or the coloring. Those are just applications. And basically this is these, these are all the things you're gonna be needing, all right? So let's uh, go back out. 
Let's press this, bring up the air command, and let's see what each one of these amazing built-in functionalities actually do. All right, so let's bring up the air command menu real quick and let's start from the top. So this is a basic one. So you tap on this and it's gonna create a note. You can take a quick note and then save it and it's gonna get saved into your Samsung Notes from where you can access it later. Now let's go to the second one. So if I press this, the second one is known as the Smart Select. So this is actually a great tool. When you tap on it, you get a bunch of options at the bottom. Uh, first, if you go with the square option, you can select any part of the screen in that square format, and then you can save that as a screenshot, and you can also extract the text from the actual thing. So let me just uh, give you the extract text option. So if I were to go over here and select this area, there's some text in there. So if I tap on extract text, it's going to extract the text that you can copy or share. Again, you can do this on any, any place, okay? You don't have to be on the actual home screen. You can do it in a gallery, in an app. Okay, so let me bring it up one more time. So what you can also do is you can uh, do the lasso tool. So with this one, you can cut any part of the screen just like this. Okay, it's all gonna be up to you. And then uh, if you go back over here, you can also go over here to Smart Select and you can do the uh, circular tool so you can take a screenshot just like that, all right? So that's all fantastic. Now when you now when you go back over here, uh, you still get this tool over here. You can expand it and reuse it as many times as you want. So that's the Smart Select option and to kill it, just press the back button on the actual phone. Now let's go to the next tactic. So go over here, we have the screen right. Now when I tap on this, it takes a screenshot of whatever uh, page I'm focused on, all right? So if I do it right now, it's gonna take a screenshot of the actual home screen. But the thing is, after taking the screenshot, it also allows you to uh, write on the screenshot and change the colors and all that good stuff. So you can use your S Pen to annotate the actual screenshot. This could be a screenshot of a map and you can send your friend your uh, a reference map and actually draw exactly where you're at. So things like that are very useful. So that's the screen write feature. Then we have the translate feature, which is pretty amazing. So if I click on this, you get a toolbar on the top. Right now it's set to translate from English to Turkish. And if you tap on this one, you can change the source language and you can also change the target language. Okay, so you can translate from any language to any language using Google Translate Engine so you know that it's uh, comprehensive. So if I go to this website over here, if I want to uh, translate a word from English to Turkish, I just hover over the word and you'll see that it has the actual translation on the top right over here, translated by Google. Now if you want to translate a full paragraph, you tap on this button, hover over the screen, and then just select the area that you want to translate the entire paragraph. And it's right over here. This is absolutely crazy that you can do this. And again, uh, paragraph text, uh, source language, you can pick any language. You can, for example, just go from Danish to uh, uh, Armenian. It's all gonna be up to you. Okay, so let's kill this. And let's go back to the next tactic. So press this. Let's go down, we've got the live message. You tap on this one, just click allow for all the uh, options. You wanna capture a moment for the background, so let's uh, pick the background for the live message. You can pick from gallery, collection, you can take a new photo. So let's go ahead and choose one from the actual uh, color. So let's tap on the color. Uh, let's just go with this color and then click on start drawing. And what you can do is you can actually draw live messages. So if I draw this, I can play the drawing and it's gonna give me nice effects all over the place. So that's pretty good. Let's undo this. Let me show you one more tactic so I can take different pens. Let's do a different color uh, and let's uh, just draw the number eight, okay, as you can see. And then I can play this, all right? You can do beautiful things with this, but once you're done, you click on done, it saves it, and then you can share that with anybody you want on the web, on Facebook, via text message. Uh, via email, whatever you want to do, live message saved in the gallery, go and do what you want with it. So if I go to the gallery and go to the live messages, it's gonna be right over here as you can see, it's saved as a video, okay? So that's great as well, nice thing to play with. Let's go back and see what else to do. So if I press on this one, now we can do the magnify. Magnify is pretty damn amazing. Again, you get a toolbox on the top and right now it's it's set for 200% magnification. I can change that to 150. 
uh, 200. I can magnify anything I want on the screen. So let's do 150. Take a look at that. So let's do 250. Take a look at that. It's bigger magnification. Let's do 300 maximum magnification in case uh, you want to see something uh, with more precise detail. So X that out when you're done. And then finally what we have is the glance feature. Now this is a very, very good feature. So to use glance, you have to pick an app which you want to glance at first. So if I tap on this one over here, let's say that I want to glance at this, as this app as I'm writing the report regarding this news article, okay? So let's uh, show you an example. So bring this up, glance, boom, that gets minimized to the corner and I can hover the S Pen over it to glance at it. Now let's say that I'm actually sending a text message to somebody over here. Let's go over here. Uh, let's say something, I was writing a text message about a news article. Hey, CNN was writing this. I can hover over just to do a quick glance and let it go, okay? And then continue writing my message based on what I was glancing at. All right, so that's basically the last of the uh, items on the Air Command menu that's important. Now, when you're done with this, with this uh, glancing thing, you can just throw it away, okay? Uh, you can glance at anything that you want that is supported. But that's it. So here we have the Air Command, the settings for the S Pen, and the Air Actions, and we went over every single one of them. Alrighty guys, at this point, you guys should be the master of your S Pen. And of course, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop them down below and let me know. But for now guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.